Greetings everybody, Okai Games Online. Welcome back to more Persona 5. Last time. We took down Okumura. Well, Shadow Okumura. And in this episode, it's time to see that deadline. The day after we take him out, too. Looks like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. Well, we did just beat a criminal. <laughs> Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> that didn't sound eerie at all. Again? <sighs> that dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. <sighs> I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will clear if we... Be clear if we can get to the depths of Mementos. Just my imagination, or is that number even higher now? If we're just. Sorry for messaging you all this early in the morning. It seems my father will be holding an urgent press conference. Okay. I guess Okumura finally had his change of heart. This has to at least lift some of the burden on Haru's shoulders. For real? Congrats! What is that going to be? 8 p.m. tonight. I wonder if he'll talk about the mental shutdowns. Where should we watch it? Why don't we get together beforehand? Sounds good. I don't really have a reason for meeting up, but it still might prove beneficial. Anyway, how does the Shujin Academy rooftop sound? I actually happen to have some business up there. Sounds good to me. It's been ages since I was last there. Wait, the school? Futaba, make sure you come in through the front entrance. See you all there after school. Oh? Hmm? Wait, where's Yusuke? He's still asleep at this point. He's definitely going to be late for school. left until exams. You'll have no problems if, you be, if you've been studying regularly this semester. I just remembered. That aside, Okumura Foods has been a hot topic lately. This much media coverage must be worth at least 10 million yen. At first, I even thought that all this outcry was just some kind of elaborate marketing campaign. I guess it's giving them too much of a bad image to be that, though. Advertising and public image are more important than anything else for a corporation. Are you familiar with the psychological test using these images? If you show these two images to people and then ask them to name one Boba and the other Kiki, Karusta song. You. Which do you think most people choose to name Kiki? 
Uh, A. This is it. Yes. That's correct. Chip instinctively felt that A is Kiki. Sharp students sounds like K and T are linked to a spiky image. According to one theory, sounds and shapes are processed in the same area of the brain. Furthermore, this sense is the same worldwide. No matter the language, the result is the same. No way. More nice progress knowledge, man. We're gonna ace this this exam that we have coming up. All right. Product's name impresses an image on people before they even use or buy it. Big Bang Burger exemplifies this. The voice consonants and short syllabus leave a strong imprint. Although with the news these days, it may also evoke the image of strong impressing the weak. Even the teachers have their eyes on Okumura. Well, they should be having a change of heart, so there should be nothing to worry about. There should be nothing to worry about. But... I have my doubts. You wanna meet up on the rooftop after school, yeah? Rooftop? What is this about? Oh yeah, you weren't there. Can you come to our school rooftop after your classes today? I don't quite understand what is going on, but sure. Is Haru at school? I'm heading over now. Things were a little hectic this morning. I'll be there before class is end for the day. That reminds me, your flower bed is on the rooftop. Flower bed? That's right, the season is good. So I'm thinking of transplanting them sometime soon. Flowers are an excellent hobby. I will gladly assist you. We'll help too. Really? Thanks! Alright. I'll see you all, all of you after school. So you're the one who grew these, senpai. <laughs> you can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the Snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party? At Destiny Land. By Destiny Land, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about THE Destiny Land, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. What the heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work! You're really gonna have it at Destiny Land? Not like one of the restaurants, but 
The entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we cancel the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this! We'll just celebrate twice as hard today! I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? Apparently a lot. Seems we'll be having our celebration at Destiny Land tonight. At least we'll be having a good time together. Probably better than the school festival. Hmm, that was delicious. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with a view. The VIP life is incredible! Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On? This view is not as beautiful as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. <sighs> you say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. Fighting those. Really? What was that? You got something to say? <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This'll really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> I'm sure it's not our last celebration. Still, party how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Well, let's go watch it then. Father. Let's listen to all those confessions. Provide, you know. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, 
I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes. I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Okuma <laughs> san Just at the wrong time, too, huh? Huh? Another mental shutdown. F father Why did he collapse? That didn't look right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Mama-chan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. Did everything the same. Yet You're right. Still. We followed all the same steps. We made sure we just took the treasure too. I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? I have a feeling someone else is behind this. It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown. Right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is... the same. I remember now. It's just like... what happened to my mom. So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today, I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? <laughs> That's... <clears throat> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. 
We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up. But I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai son I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. It must be the data Makoto stole, huh? Did you see the news? Did you see? He collapsed during the interview. This is serious. That was gruesome. Wish they put some sort of warning on the video. They said President Okumura died. Really? Whoa, you're right. I saw a news report about it. So about Haru's dad, uh... The news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through, right? I hate to say this. But usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No. Haru. Why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shock could kill a person. Haru did mention how her father wasn't in the best of health. But for him to just up and die? This has got to be some kind of joke. Haru. Are we responsible for his death? But I thought it was supposed to be fine as long as we didn't kill her shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? Ah. It should have been okay. It should have been. It says it should have been okay. Yeah, and there's no point getting mad at Mona for this. I heard the same thing too, you know? In any case, let's compare ourselves, compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public, but keep Haru in our minds. <sighs> Damn it. This doesn't make any sense. Why you suffered a mental shutdown is one thing. But what are we supposed to do from here on out? That is a mystery for another day. <sighs> Haru's going to be fine, right? We can only hope. Next time on Persona 5. We're going to hopefully try to get some more information about what the heck happened. Because Okumura having a mental shutdown then is way too convenient. See you guys then.